here we're bench testing. Let's see it drops down there pretty darn quickly. Okay, so you can see it going up and down between 0.83 and 0.19 on about a 1 hertz cycle. Now let's go take a look at the next sensor. So that was the one before the catalytic converter. That is used as a feedback loop with the engine to make it rich lean, rich lean. Then it's supposed to go through the catalytic converter and burn up the excess fuel and so it's supposed to be a fairly constant number and it's supposed to be around 0.5 as you can see okay that it was down pretty low and now it's hanging out at nearly 0.9 it maxed out and then it jumps down really low and back up Seems to be hanging out at a high level for quite a while for its the scale keeps on changing on this so it's still hanging out between 0.8 and 0.7 right now. Okay, now it's dropping down. Okay, that's probably 20 seconds or so up high. Okay, so here is my oxygen sensor, the downstream ox oxygen sensor. And there are already videos on the internet, some pretty good ones, uh, showing you how to use these two items, 42002 and 09. You drill out one of these, I think it's this one, and you screw that one into the other one, and then the drill that one goes over it, put the other one in, and screw it back in. Uh, I'm a little bit skeptical about how long that's going to work. Um, and also, this costs about 10 bucks for these two. Now, the other option is you build an electrical simulator with a resistor and a capacitor. I'm using a slightly different uh, than I've seen online. One mega ohm is the easiest to find, but then um, I found that one microfarad is too small, so I'm bumping up to five 4.7 microfarad, and I'll go into the details later. But uh, after I'm done, we'll see what that looks like in the, in the uh, graphing. Scanner. Okay, so the blue and white wires on this unit are the O2 sensor and the black ones are the heater. So we're going to tap into the white and blue ones. Okay, so uh, again, here are the parts 2711356 1 mega ohm quarter watt resistor. So I'm going to put this, whoops, the other one, this in line with this blue wire here. That's the signal wire. And then after the resistor towards where the computer is, I'm going to connect this blue wire and the white wire. And it's very important you do it here. I've seen pictures of people on the internet doing it over here. That is not going to work. Um, it's only going to work on this side here. Also, these are um, must be oriented the right way. Each manufacturer is different. On this one, you can see there's a little... Uh, can you see? There's a little arrow on this white stripe, and that arrow there actually has a negative on the arrow. It's not a positive, it's a negative, and so you want to point that arrow towards the negative or the white. Some of the tools I'm going to be using are a pair of wire cutter strippers, a soldering iron, and some solder and a um, three and a half millimeter heat shrink tubing to seal it back up and a uh, Harbor Freight ten dollar heat gun. You can also use a lighter if you're careful. Uh, another alternative would be to use liquid electrical tape but you gotta make sure you're very good otherwise you're gonna short it out. Okay here's what it looks like. It's not my prettiest soldering job. For some reason the stuff really does not, <laughs> the wires do really not want to take solder. I don't know if that's something special about this, but okay, so he, this is the uh, oxygen sensor here. And then I installed this one mega ohm resistor. And then in parallel, I've got this capacitor installed here. Okay, and um, 
Yeah, make sure you get the capacitor in the right place. Okay, here it is installed in the catalytic converter. I've got some electrical tape over the very end there where the components are. And then it plugs into the wiring harness as normal. Let's go see what this does. Okay, so what we should see here is a very smooth wave, not changing all that frequently. Okay, point 0.1 to point 0.5, point 0.6, it's climbing. You can see it's a nice, fairly slow wave, that's good. So it is going to probably hit the high because what we were seeing is it would take like about 30 seconds sitting at the high. And uh, now the scale is changing on us, but it's slowly dropping now. 0.3 Okay, now It's still around that 0.3, the scale keeps on changing If you look at the numbers, it's maybe easier, you're looking at 0.2 So it hasn't changed very much, Point, still near the 0.2 Point four. So you gotta remember what did this thing used to look like? It would have just transitioned in a spike from point nine to point one and back to point nine. So here it's been a while to get from point one to point nine. And now again it's going it's taking a while to get point nine down to point three. Time will only tell whether this is sufficient to fool the computer in the car, but I think it's, it's definitely doing what I wanted it to do.